Hi, it's Fanny of Living Richie on a Budget. Today I'm gonna to make Instant Pot Spaghetti Squash. Spaghetti squash is in season and it's perfect for the Instant Pot. It cooks much faster in the Instant Pot than the stove. And it's one of those vegetables that if you're on a low carb diet, this is perfect. Spaghetti squash itself doesn't have a lot of flavor, but when you pair it with marinara sauce and Parmesan cheese, it tastes pretty close and it's good enough for me. So let's get started. This is a spaghetti squash. You can see that has, it's yellow, has like some ridges here and has a stem. They come in different sizes. This one's about three pounds, three ounces. And depending on how large your spaghetti squash is, that's going to determine like how long you're going to cook it for. I highly recommend getting a two or three pound spaghetti squash because it's going to fit inside the Instant Pot. Anything bigger and it's not going to fit, you're going to have to cut it up and cook it longer. First, you have to decide whether you're going to cut it this way or this way. The advantage of cutting it crosswise is that you'll get longer strands. But if you cut it lengthwise, you'll get um, you'll be able to use it as a bowl. I'm going to show you how I cut it. I know most videos won't show you how to cut it because it's kind of hard. The way I cut it is with a cleaver, one that you don't care about, and a mallet. And the reason why you, you want a cleaver you don't care about is because it's going to cause these dents here. So this is how we do it. I don't know how other people do it. With just They just say you, they use a paring knife. So now we have this, it looks like this on the inside. We're going to take out the seeds and clean it out and then we're going to start cooking it. I'm going to take out the seeds just by scraping it like that. Just clean out all this stuff. This is what it looks like after I cleaned it out. You can already see that there's some stringy strands. And that's going to become spaghetti later. First we're going to put the trivet in, then one cup of water. I really recommend the smaller sizes so that they can fit into your Instant Pot because I've gotten ones that are so big that I had to cut it up. So it doesn't really matter which way, but I'm going to do it like this. Let's close the lid. Set the ceiling. For a two pound spaghetti squash, start at seven minutes. And for a three pound spaghetti squash, cook it at 10 minutes. Since I have a three pound spaghetti squash, I'm going to cook it for 10 minutes and then we're going to see how it is. So I'm going to click manual or pressure cook and just adjust it to 10 minutes. Set the ceiling. Timer has gone off. I'm going to shut it off. Do a quick release. This drop, so we're gonna open it up. Here's our spaghetti squash that's cooked. We're gonna check to see if it's ready yet. Looks good. This actually looks perfect. Um, see, the strands are coming out. Looks like spaghetti. This is going to make a perfect bowl for our meal. Check that out. So it looks like a two or three pound spaghetti squash is the best size. You don't want something too big, otherwise it's just not going to fit in the Instant Pot and it's going to take longer to cook. I'm using Trader Joe's creamy tomato basil pasta sauce and it's sweet and creamy. I want to also add again that you need to have Parmesan cheese on it to make it taste like spaghetti. It just, the cheese just hides the flavor better or 
The cheese just makes it taste more like real spaghetti. The texture is not going to be like real spaghetti. It's going to have a bite to it. It's going to be al dente. The more al dente the spaghetti squash is when you cook it, the longer the squash noodles, noodles are going to be. The longer you cook the spaghetti squash, the more um, the less strands you're going to have. The less spaghetti squash strands you're going to have, and it's going to be just more like a melon. Who wants some low carb spaghetti squash? If you like this video, please click thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. Also, if you have any questions of how to cook the spaghetti squash, leave a comment below. See you next time. Bye. I like it soft like this, but it might be slightly overcooked. I think next time, I'll probably try 10 minutes, not 15.